We're going to China. We're going to China. Cha cha cha. That's right. We got the visa. Woo! That's right. After a stressful two weeks, we finally found out we got approved for the Chinese visa. It's stressful because we have spent quite a bit of money already on the plane tickets. And we're also leaving to Canada soon, so we need our passports back. So, in January, we decided to go to China in September and October. So, we bought our plane tickets in April. First, because we didn't want the prices to go up. Second, because we needed them for the visa. And then in June, once we got to the US, we applied rush service. <laughs> We used our local visa center because going six hours to DC back and forth if there's any issues was not an option. And this actually proved to be a great choice because they advised us on a lot of things we had no idea about to make the process a lot smoother. Documents required to apply for the L visa for China. Application, copy of passport, copy of driver's license. Hmm, what else? Um, the plane tickets. Plane tickets, itinerary, and your where you will stay pretty much throughout your whole stay in China. They want a really detailed itinerary of every place you will stay at and the address. Now, what is our plan? What is our actual itinerary? First, we will land in Beijing where we'll spend a few days exploring the Great Wall, the Forbidden City, Summer Palace, Tiananmen Square stuff. and whatever else comes our way. Yeah, and we'll also, well, in Beijing I'll get to meet a few students. Next, we will make our way west to Xi'an and Chengdu to see the terracotta warriors, pandas, and whatever else we find there. Food! And apparently it's good for food. Next, we'll actually fly to Thailand for a week to meet my parents there. So we're pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about that. Yay, my in-laws! <laughs> From Thailand, we're going to fly back into China, into Shenzhen, where we'll stay a couple of weeks exploring that whole area and We'll see what else we do around there. After that, we'll be heading to the Shanghai area. We don't know yet where we'll stay there, but that's the plan. And then he'll get to meet a few students. Yeah, hopefully. Apparently, everybody that wants to be taught by me lives in Shanghai or near. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's all in Beijing. So that's good. We won't have to, spend our, to split our time there. And after we finish up with Shanghai, we're going to go back to Beijing to fly out of China. I'm sad already. <laughs> All this is just an outline and it might change a lot, especially because we're really open to house sitting. That's really something we want to do this time. Save money. Yes. And we're ready to change our plans, change the cities just to save money. And also, we actually just want to be surprised and discover what China has to offer. Not just see the big cities and what everybody else sees. Maybe see something locals and unexpected. Mm -hmm. And get food. We really nervous yet excited about this new venture we'll let you know how it goes and we can't wait to go i think we're leaving in like seven weeks it'll fly by <laughs> if you want to follow us along see what we do if we survive china be sure to hit that subscribe button the like button and we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.